Okay guys, today I'm going to try sexing my centipede. Uh, I've collected over the past couple of months uh, the species uh, Scolapendra dehani, uh, cherry red centipede. I'm trying to see whether I can uh, breed them. But first I have to find out the sex of the centipede. Now uh, sexing the centipede is not an easy feat because uh, you've got to check them physically. <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem but uh, yeah so I've checked online and um, experts how they do it um, so I'm gonna imitate what they're gonna do so let's see if everything turns out well so this is what I've prepared a big tub uh, my centipede uh, this is a container that I prepare um, with two holes a bigger hole and a smaller hole on the cover this is the centipede It's quite a big one and a pail of water so now what I what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to drown the centipede because I have to knock the fella out first before I can check him physically or else I'm gonna get bitten okay let's uh, jump into it so first I need to catch the fella out and put into this container now there are two risks every time when you want to sex your centipede. Number one is you may kill the centipede because when you drown it, you may over you know you may drown it too long in the water and it may just die. Second one, if you don't drown it enough, it will turn around and bite you. And uh, centipedes are known to have the most one of the most painful bites. See how strong this fella is? It's fighting me. It doesn't want to come out at all. Maybe he knows what I was going. I'm going to do. holding on to that piece of driftwood and he's pulling the whole thing up got it ah good so close up the container and submerge the container in the pail of water so earlier i mentioned that the cover on the container have two holes so one hole allows the air from inside the container to come out and that sucks the water into the container so it makes it easy to pour water in this process may seem uh, very cruel but this is how uh, people do it when they want to sex their centipede the other only other way is uh, the scientific community will use carbon dioxide uh, put the centipede in a bottle and pump carbon dioxide inside the bottle until the thing faint which is the same thing actually so I do not have access to that um, so I use water Okay, it's been now about uh, one minute over. Let's see uh, whether he has fainted because he's not moving anymore inside the container. Now I don't want to put it for too long and uh, kill this fella. Okay, I don't want to kill my pet. Okay. <laughs> Look at my sweat. Mm. <laughs> it's not fainted yet. I've uh, placed it back in the water for about another one minute over. So let's see. Seems not moving. I think this might be it. So I need to uh, block the head in case he wakes up. That was a bit scary at one point. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Okay, no way, he's waking up, he's waking up. Back in the water, back in the water. So now he's been in the water for another three more minutes. And okay, I'm testing it now by pressing on the body. Okay, when I nudge that fella and the legs are moving means it's not fainted yet so i think this is a better way of uh 
testing whether the fella is fainted rather than taking it out and there's a risk there okay so it's been uh, inside there for another three minutes i think this time around it is uh, fainted because uh, it's not moving anymore hopefully i didn't kill it okay so now to uh, straightening it out so i need to take precautions here i need to put one tweezer at the head to stop it in case it wakes up and flips over and bite me so i'll use the other tweezer i will have to press the last segment of its uh, body to pop the uh, organ so that the uh, organ comes out and i can see let me try to uh, yeah switch on more light and it will be clearer okay you see it you see it the organ is out i've popped the organ so that looks like a female to me um yeah okay as you can see from these pictures from the internet the males have two little tentacle things on the left and right called gonopods here's a close-up picture of mine again um i think it's a female but uh experts out there do correct me if i'm wrong please Now, since the fellow is still fainted, it's waking up, but uh, this is my opportunity to actually measure the length of this uh, centipede. So it's about uh, 8.5 inches long, minus the antenna. I shall uh, put this fellow back into his enclosure. He's waking up already. He's still quite limp, but it started to move a little. can see the head is moving yeah so he's slowly waking 